With Season 11 launched on January 8th, players will be flocking to the Summoner's Rift in droves to kick off the new year with a bang. Welcome back! Whether you choose to begin the ranked grind on day 1 or wait until everything has been called down, now is the time to optimize your strategies and prepare for the climb. Best wishes for Season 11 and a fantastic start to the new season. So here are the 10 suggestions. Number 10. Increase the number of champions in your pool. In League of Legends, it's critical to keep a small champion pool so that you can always play your champions to their strengths. Someone who repeatedly plays the same champion or set of champions will outperform someone who plays every champion in the game. One of the main reasons for this is that the person will have a lot of experience when it comes to playing a said champion. Assume that you play 30 to 50 League of Legends champions. Suppose you're playing against an opponent with a relatively small champion pool. In that case, you'll find it much more challenging to play against them simply because you have less experience with a champion because you play so many different champions. Instead of playing every champion in the game, try to keep the number of champions you take into rank at a minimum. Three champions in your main row is a good number to go by. This will give you enough leeway to play a different champion if your preferred pick faces a difficult matchup. It also gives you enough wiggle room to counterpick the opponent. Allow for up to five champions if you're unhappy playing with three champions or finding yourself getting bored or needing to switch it up frequently. If at all possible, do not exceed this figure. Later on, you may want to replace champions if they fall out of the meta or if you no longer perform well on them. When this happens, swap and replace as needed to maintain your peak performance. But I wouldn't give up so quickly at the start of the season. Number 9. Acquaint yourself with the new items and updated builds. Riot added, adjusted and removed a slew of items from the game during the preseason if you've been living under a rock. Every champion should now invest in a new type of item known as a mythic item. Each build is limited to one mythic item, with each offering a unique set of benefits. We'll not detail each new item because that's a lot to cover, and it can easily become overwhelming. Fortunately, we've detailed each of the new items in our Season 11 item guides. Make sure you're also crafting items that are appropriate for your champion. To stay ahead of the competition, check out our build recommendations for each champion in the game. If you don't build optimal items in the correct order, you'll find yourself falling short against the enemy. Before going into the rankings, try to understand each of the new items and what they do. It's critical and knowing what each of them will make building your champion and playing against the enemy much easier. Number 8. Don't force yourself to play ranked right away. This isn't a tip but rather general advice. Don't feel obligated to play ranked at the start of the season if you're unprepared or do not believe you're up to the task. There's a lot of free LP to be gained when doing your placements, so you must play to your best ability and get a good start. Don't play the game or place your bets simply because your friends or other players do so. The ascent is more of a marathon than a sprint. Make the best possible start and begin whenever you're ready. There's no need to rush. Number 7. Keep track of how many games you play. It's pretty common for players to play many games in the first day of the new season. Given that you need to play 10 games to be placed, it's easy to see why players will try to get them done as soon as possible. Our advice is to avoid playing all of your placement games at the beginning of the season, or at least not play all 10 games in the first day. Instead, try to spread out your gaming sessions over a couple of days. To increase your chances of winning more games, play a maximum of 5 games. If you lose a string of games, take a step back and stop playing for the day. If you play 10 games in a row, you'll hurt your chances of getting a good starting rank because you'll begin to play worse after the first few games due to fatigue. Similarly, if you lose multiple games in a row, your performance will deteriorate as the number of games you play increases. At this point, the losses will begin to affect your mental state and that's always a significant issue. Number 6. Get to know the most recent champions. Riot seemed to be releasing champions left, right and centre in Season 10 and we had a few new releases to hit the Summoner's Rift in the latter part of 2020. Similar to the previous point, you must learn to play against the newer champions to understand what they do and how to defeat them. Some of the most recent champions, such as Samira and Seraphin, are on the higher end of our Mobilitics tier list right now and are incredibly strong, so knowing how to play against them is critical when they're frequently played. Learning to play against all of the champions will greatly improve your chances of climbing and winning games because you'll understand what they do and what to expect from them. 
All of the above guidelines include tips and tricks to help you get the most out of them. Number 5. Get your seersing and other mechanics ready. Farming and gold income are two of the most important skills a player can learn. Earning a lot of gold will allow you to buy your items faster than the enemy laner and later create more leads. For example, obtaining a large amount of early gold will allow you to purchase a core item, whereas your opponent may be limited to two basic items like a double long sword for ADCs. Enter the practice duel and work on the last hitting and secure those minions. You don't have to do it every day or after every game, but it's essential to do it frequently to stay in shape. If you're a support and your champion equips a relic shield or steel shoulder guards, you can earn more gold in the early game by focusing on melee and cannon minions. Use two stacks in the melee minions on the first or second wave. Then, just in time for the third wave, your third stack will be ready to consume on the cannon minion. This will allow you to earn more gold and finish your war quest faster. Killing ranged champions are not recommended because they provide very little gold. Number 4. Effectiveness. Don't waste your time. Every second counts, especially if you're a feral flare jungle. I'm not sure who said it, but jungling is a gold versus time game. Stay ahead of the game by timing your kills correctly. Number 3. Adaptability. Everyone aspires to be a hyper carrier. Don't get too focused on one thing at a time. If your team requires a tank, be that tank. If they need an initiator, you should be the one to take the initiative. Jungle champions typically have more building path versatility than other lanes, making the most of it. Number 2. Opportunities for counter jungling and ganking. Take the enemy jungler's bottom buff and or dragon if he's on top. Take his top buff, big wraith, if he's bottom. Drop a ward on your way in and around the 10 to 11th minute mark, place deep wards near enemy buffs. This allows you to challenge his second buff. Feel out your team and if an opportunity arises, seize it. If you don't want to, don't. Spending time ganking, losing lanes or camping a lane with a low chance of snowballing is a waste of time. Efficiency is essential. Number 1. Objectives of reaction. If objectives are available, try to take them. That's to say, your opponent's team just fought for a dragon and everyone went B. Why can't you aggressively push mid or bottom knowing you have 20 seconds before anyone will fight you? If your team loses an objective or a fight, try to mitigate the loss by stealing something from the enemy. If you win your lane, try to assist your jungler and team by warding off the nearest enemy golem camp, red or blue buff. This will allow the team to pinpoint the location of the enemy jungler, allowing for counter jungling, dragon sneaks and easy dive scenarios. If the buff is active and you can take it safely, you've seen the enemy jungler far away or he's dead or he's recalled, do so. Let's get through some final reflections. Try not to be concerned about how well or poorly Season 11 begins for you. You're not racing anyone and it makes no difference how long it takes for you to achieve the desired rank. Maintain a positive attitude, have fun and give it your all. This is your season. How to climb with low elo as a support? How is Mobilitix GPI advice created and delivered to you? Can you get banned from LOL from being a bad guy? Tell us all these things in the comment section down below. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching.